Hello everyone, for Tremendous VD, I am Dr. Mead. We're playing Magic. We talked about it in a previous episode. I'm just, I'm back in, played some Return to Ravnica, it seemed like a lot of fun. It's Black Red, let's do this. I must not be the only one because I haven't had any trouble finding a match tonight and, you know, that's pretty rare. Uh, this should be fun. Um, Black Red is Rakdos. Um, judging by what I experienced in the draft environment, it's definitely a quicker... Or can be when you don't draw a hand like that. I think we have to throw that back just because of... Wow. Um, and I think we have to keep this. I think we have to keep it. I, I think we have to risk not getting black, which hopefully we do, but we can't go down to six. Um, we can't ditch a hand that has some power cards in it like this one. Let's play a red. Let him make the choice. Does he like the Vexing Devil? Is he afraid of the Vexing Devil? He's probably going to take the four. I would take the four. Unless he has a removal in his hand, in which case maybe you don't. Okay, he must. I guarantee he has a removal in his hand. He's playing either mono black or black red like me. He's got the removal. He's ready to go. He's not afraid of my 4 3. Vexing Devil. Mono black. Innocent Blood. There we go. Does it make me get rid of him? No problem. Mono black almost certainly still the strongest deck in the format. Um, with kind of the creature emphasis. Wow, we are just up the river without a black. That guy would be lethals if we can get him on the table. I guess a lot of these cards would be. Okay, we're really in trouble unless we draw black mana. At this point, that's all it is. It's just we have to draw black mana. If you've never seen this guy, he's actually really good. Um, any other creature. Any other creature on the field dies. He gets plus one, plus one. He is first strike. He's usually a priority to just get killed. Um, but he can turn. He can turn into something of a monster. It all depends. He's gonna get murdered, <laughs> which you know is fine, I guess. It's fine if we draw black. Not so good if we don't. Not so good if we don't. I would do like to see him spending three mana on his phase. Oh, wow. Now we need multiple black. We still have nothing. We have no plays. I guess I should have gone back in for six. I just I didn't even consider it. Oh. One black will solve all of our problems, though, because Vampire Nighthawk's not so scary if he's, you know, dead. And we don't necessarily need to play Grave Titan. It'd be nice to play some card in our hand, though. Black. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, the answer to all of my problems. Black. So, we have a couple different options here. I think the most obvious is just to hold on and kill... Uh, The Vampire Nighthawk. Life Link is a much bigger deal than a 3-2 Vanilla. This guy does nothing. This zombie literally does nothing except, you know. Let's just go ahead and blast this guy out of the water. We'll take the 3. We don't love to take the 3, but we'll take the 3. Uh, that guy can deal with my Singed Mind Ogre or something. I don't know. Singe Mind Ogre. Another card my opponent has to read. Basically, he makes him reveal a card. He loses life. He will convert a mana cost. I hope he has a big demon. Because uh, I still have to terminate to get rid of it if he does. The Grave Titan or something. I don't know. He would have played Grave Titan if he had it. But Yeah, obviously I'm going to choose him. I don't know why you would ever choose to do it to yourself. Ooh, Execution. That's... Ouch. 
At least it kind of evens up the life totals a little bit. Let's sack Evolving Wilds. Get another swamp in the field. Obviously, he's going to destroy my creature. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I mean, whatever. It is distressing that he still hasn't run out of removal. Um, you know, you like to hold the bigger removal cards for... Towards the end of the game, but I guess we'll just have to lay this... This guy can't block, so we can't lay him. We need a blocker here. We're going to have mana to lay him, so it's got to be this guy. Who is great, um... Because at the very least, if he wants to kill him with a spell, he's going to have to lose the four life. And if he lingers, he turns other monsters I have into just beat sticks. Absolute beat sticks. You know, this guy becomes 6-6. Six, six, because he adds to both black and red. So any of these creatures, any of these dual colored creatures get big. This guy, monocolored, we won't even play him for now. Because if we later need to play Defiler Souls, this guy's always nice. This guy's a winner against a monocolor deck like our black opponent is playing here. Um, we'll block him. We'll take the hit. If he's got a big creature in his hand, we have the Terminate. If he doesn't, we'll just lay... Oh, we'll just lay this guy, actually. Who, that's a bit of a lucky pull. A great top deck. This creature is so fast. 5-4, flying haste. Youch. And not to mention, comes back onto the field. Back onto the battlefield. Just So now we're, you know, basically even in the life. We have been a two-turn clock. He has to respond to us. Um, the big concern here is that he gets a hold of a corruption... Or an exsanguinate before we can finish him off. Uh, which hopefully won't happen. <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't have a creature to lay, then we have to assume that he has access to an exsanguinate. Wow. Um, it kind of doesn't matter what I do. Um, he's on the same clock regardless. And I would hate to... So what we want to do is use... Two red and a black. You manipulate your colors to the left thumbstick on the Xbox 360. I think you use the control button on the PC, but... Um, that'll leave us open the colors we need to use either of our instants. That way if he has one removal spell, he can't get rid of us. I assume if he had two removal spells, like, you know, if he had one in hand, he would use it to get rid of Demigod of Revenge. Um, but if he drew one here, he can get rid of one creature or the other, but either can kill him, which is our big concern. There's the Avatar of Woe. Obviously, we don't love that. Let's go ahead and get rid of her because we can. Okay, so it doesn't matter what we draw here. Then we got our revenge. This is where it gets really nasty because uh, when you cast a second one, it draws all the others out of the, the graveyard back onto the field. Um, uh, you know. Mono black, not quick enough to keep up with, with us, with red black, since we also have removal. And we also have bigger and faster creatures, frankly. Mono Black needs to stall against Red Black, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, good game. Um, for Tremendous VD, I'm Dr. Mead. I am signing off. Uh, have a wonderful time.